the meeting I have with Duncan, let me tell you. Um, Ma, it will soon be ready. Because I got home very late last night, I couldn't write it. And is that supposed to be an excuse or something? No, like, do I pay you a huge amount of money for you to give me flimsy excuses? If I don't get that report in the next 10 minutes, consider yourself jobless. Please, Ma, it will soon be ready here. Get to work. You are typing away so fast like this. I hope everything is okay. Yeah, madam needs this in 10 minutes, so and I don't really want to lose my job. And I've come to give you this to help me to type out because she needs it now also. Oh, go, oh, please. Let it wait. I need to finish this first. Please allow me to concentrate and finish this. Please. Okay, in that case, I'll go and see her first. I can hear you. No, I want them size 8. Size 8 or size 6. Okay. Good morning, madam. Okay. Morning. Can I have a seat? Thank you. Alright. I'll upgrade them. Okay, good. Alright. Yeah, take care of it. Bye. I came to discuss the meeting with uh, Mrs. Bode. Okay. She requested to see you personally. Why me? Why does she want to see me? I guess she doesn't want any mistakes. This is going to be a grand wedding. And she wants the best. Hence, she's sending her PA to commit you personally and tell you what they need. Her PA? Huh? What insult? I mean, why does it have to be her PA? Calm down. Mrs. Bode is one of our biggest clients. Her husband, one of the richest men in town. And this is her daughter's wedding. She wants us to be special. Okay. In that case, you're going to handle whatever she wants. I mean, that's why you're my manager. Tell her I'm not available at the moment and you take her orders. If she's not satisfied, she can go somewhere else. What? Crystal? You don't want to lose one of the biggest customers you have, do you? Case closed. You can leave. Where have you been? I've been looking! <sighs> um, I'm going upstairs to freshen up. When I come back downstairs, yes, I need my dinner served. Yes, Get to it.
What is this? I'm asking you. So how me. many times have I warned you that I always like my food served hot? Oh, then it's hot. Oh, it means I'm stupid. No, 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 I don't know. I do not know if food that is hot or cold. No, no. You are indirectly telling me I'm stupid. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've warned you five times about this. You're fired. Oh, I'm sorry. You are fired! Oh, please. I don't have anywhere oh. to go. Oh, really? You will never listen to simple instructions? Yes. Madam. I'll call the maid to get you out. Madam, please. Madam. I've been able to convince Mrs. Bode to allow Happy a deal with me directly. I made her understand that you are in this bus at the moment. And also, I promised that we'll give our best. Yeah, that's good. Anything else? Not really. Okay, so... But I want to talk to you about your anger, your temper. You get upset easily. And it's not good for the business. So what are you trying to say? Are you trying to insult my personality? I don't mean it that way. So how do you mean it? <sighs> Hello? Send him in. Send him in. That is not what So what then are you saying? You know what? He may leave. Someone is upsetting me, really. Hello, pretty. I never asked you to sit. Oh, I'm sorry, mademoiselle, I'm already seated. You look beautiful. Let's just go straight to the business of the day. Oh, come on, thank you, Lucifer. There you That's what I do. When are we kicking off? As soon as I get your approval. I have. I want lovely girls, beautiful girls, to help showcase my new range of products. Oh, that's what I do. I got you. I want a great show. And you can't disappoint me. I never disappoint. All right, fruity. I'm enjoy it. Abby. It's a, just, I don't know, I don't know. Let me check. Abby, Abby I am late for my meeting. Abby, go now, go. The car have developed photo. What do you mean the car have developed photo? It's a minor fault. Didn't you check the car this morning before we left the house? Let me have my car keys, you're fired. Sorry, ma'am. Let me have my car keys. Sorry, sorry. Hello? Uh, my car just stopped on the road. Could you please just come in front of um, Crown Estate? I'm on the road, you stopped on the road. Could you just come here? Come now, thank you. Mikey. Please, ma'am. 
get please, out. Please, ma, please, get out. please, ma'am. Get out. Get out. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. It's a minor fault. You didn't check the car before you before we left the house this morning? It's a minor fault. Why didn't you check the car? Please. I'm late for my appointment. Please, ma'am. Please, Just get out. Please, Can you imagine? I don't want to see you near my car. Please, ma'am. Get out. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Did you check the car before we left the house this morning? Hey. Hey. Crystal. What's up? What are you doing on the sun? My car just worked out. Yeah? I have told you not to come close to my car. Hey, Get hey, out! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, look. Hey, look. Look, um. Why don't, why don't I drop you up wherever you're going, okay? It's got AC. Please, ma. I don't want to see him close to my car. I don't want to see him close to my car. Please, ma. It's a minor fault, ma. Please, ma. It's a minor fault. Please, ma. It's a minor fault, ma. Please, ma. Please, ma. It's help me talk to her. Why did you check this car? It's a minor fault. It's a minor fault. It's a minor fault. Just look at it now. She just fired you for nothing. Please, ma. Please help me talk to her, please. I will. I will. Tell him you can't make it. Could you please stop telling me what to do and what not to do? Ah. You still need to be grateful for me coming to your aid. You're over here throwing attitudes. Oh God, almighty Crystal. She never knows how to say sorry or even thank you to anybody. Honestly, Sha, I mean, I don't know what you've encountered in your past or who has hurt you so bad that you're so bitter. Just let go, all right? Life is simple. One more word from you, and I'll get them from your car. I promise you. Flora, you're back already? Yes. Where is Madam? Oh, the car broke down on the way, so Madam asked me to wait back for the mechanic Why she joins Mr. Frederick in his own car. I'm not surprised. I knew there's some kind of deep connection between those two. And what is the car? Um, with the mechanic and the driver. <sighs> Madam fired him. What? Why? She blamed him for not checking the car properly before driving out this morning. That is so unfair. A car can develop a fault at any time. Yeah. What is it? You need to see the way he pleaded with her. And yet she refused. I really felt so bad for him. What is wrong with her? I really need to talk to her. I'm going for my lunch. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Let go. Better let go. Don't let mistakes of yesterday affect your today. It will bring you sorrow tomorrow. Mistakes of You know, you put on this fierce look. But I know that inside of you, you're soft. Whatever I choose to do with my life doesn't concern you. Well, it does. I care about you. I care a whole lot about you. Look, the fact I give your company jobs doesn't mean you should talk to me anyhow. Don't you have work to do? No, don't change the topic, okay? Oh. I'm my own boss. I can do whatever I wish with my time. But you're actually going somewhere before you saw me. I think you can start going. Why are you shutting me out? Come on. Don't 
Don't you dare touch me again like that. You're hurting over something. Let it go. <laughs> Do I look to you like someone who can get hurt? <laughs> like seriously. No man can ever hurt me again. Ever again. You said it. I was right. You've been hurt once in the past. You know what? Take me back to my office. Hey, 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 is that an order? Not even a please? The first time I saw you at that seminar, you were looking fine. You were so adorable. All the guys were drooling. <laughs> <laughs> and one day I say hi to you, you rubbish his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Don't mind that he thinks he's just here to women. <laughs> Did you just laugh? I've never seen you smile. Let's talk of laughing. Really? Yeah, you got a great smile. Thank you. You said thank you. What? Yeah, you know me, I had, I had fun with the moon shot. You know, I'm thinking we should do it more often. You know, as friends, colleagues, or so better still. You know, I got money. Big boy. Mistakes of yesterday. Yeah, 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 I'll fetch yeah. you today. Why do I feel so drawn to him? We have this deep connection that I can't explain. I can't even help myself. What the hell is wrong with me? Am I falling for him? No, it can't be. Crystal will never fall for any man again. Never. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, please let it go, let it go, let go, let better let, let go, don't let me. mistakes of yesterday. <clears throat> what are you thinking about? What? You were indeed tough. I guess you're thinking about your love boy. Really? You of all people should know I would never have feelings for any man. Please, don't let your past destroy your future. So I paid you to discuss my future? I'm sorry. Why are you here? I'm here to talk about the driver you sacked. It is unfair. A car can develop fault at any time. It's not his fault. So it's my fault. <laughs> It is my fault. It's my fault to also serve as a car from time to time. Please, tamper justice with mercy. Oh, you see, that's the problem. I don't have that word mercy in my dictionary. You see, that word died a long time ago. If you would please excuse me, I have work to do. Go upstairs fresh enough so we can go out to have dinner. Ah, uh, okay. You are always spoiling me, That's silly. Do <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, I'll make do with whatever is in the kitchen. Look, I fired my cook and I'm yet to get another one. I'll take you to one of the best fast food joints in town. I guarantee you that. You, you did what? I fired my cook. Krista, you have not changed. What is it with you and always firing your staff at every little provocation? Do you want to understand until you become a CEO? Then you will know not how to tolerate incompetence. I still think you should give them a chance. Really? Yes. Good to see you anyway. Good to see you too. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hello. Can I join you? Ugh. Hi. That looks good. So what are you doing here? What kind of question is that? Are there any restrictions here? Hey, you have any restrictions here? No. 
I came to have lunch. Are you stalking me? Come on. Don't feel any more important than you already are. The universe doesn't revolve around you, baby. Whatever you're planning, it won't work. Stop running away from your feelings. Have a taste. Come on, share your food with me now. You're not greedy, you're not stingy now. Come on. The meeting with Mrs. Bodes PA was successful. Oh. They were thrilled with our designs. That's nice. And we got the contract. Oh, really? Yeah. Lovely. I sent you the pictures of the models that Frederick proposed to use to showcase our new design. Oh, really? Have you seen them? No, I haven't. Um, let me just check them. Asking, what is this? That is beautiful. This is trash. You know what? Call me Frederick. Tell him I need him in my office. 3 p.m. Call him now. I think you are getting upset for nothing. Can you just go back to your duty post and do what I said you should do? And I need Frederick in my office. 3 p.m. What is this? What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you even set up an impromptu meeting knowing quite well that I'll be busy with work? Who cares? You think I'm glad to see you here? And by the way, I said 2 p.m. Why are you here by 4 p.m.? Well, that's because I was busy. Anyway, I'm here now. What is it? So I saw the proposed models you want to use for my new product and I'm wondering how? How you think of using such ugly ducklings? What? You call those girls ugly? Ducklings. These are black and African girls, okay? I thought this project was supposed to be about African beauty. That's bullshit! I mean, you were supposed to get me tall, slim, fair, Beautiful girls. I mean, real definition of beauty models, not to all your black, ugly girlfriends with big front and back. Wait, are you intimidated by these girls, or this is just mere jealousy? Jealous. Uh huh. And why would I be jealous? Uh, maybe because you think they're my girlfriends. Look, I don't care if you sleep with them or not. All I care about is my projects, and I'm using them for this project. You can't do that. We already paid these girls, and they already started training. Permission? Yours! That was before I saw the ghost. Well, you trusted my judgment and you gave me the go ahead. Look, I don't care! I'm not using them, and that's fine now. Why are you so bitter? Huh? Why? Huh? How dare you insult me? You know what? This contract has been terminated. I don't want you handling it anymore. This will be the first and last time you ever raise your hands at me. Pay me what I've put into that project if you're not interested in all. <laughs> and I'm not paying you a dime. I'm not cool with what you've done so far. You heartless bitch. You pay for this. Leave my office. Let go. Let go. Don't let mistakes of yesterday affect you today. We bring you sorrow. Ah, Mr. Frederick. Yeah. Why are you living so angry? Won't you ask your boss? She's so damn annoying. What did she do? She cancelled the damn contract. What? What is wrong with her? I don't know. Oh my god. I need to talk some sense into Look, her. Look, don't even bother yourself, okay? She's so full of herself. She doesn't listen to nobody. Just don't even bother, okay? I'll see you around. Chris, 
stone. What has gotten into you? You cancelled Fedri's contract. Why? Did you take a good look at those girls? No, I'm asking you, did you? Look, I'm very sure he must have slept with them. That's why he picked them. Mm -hmm. Now I know what the problem is. You are dumb, jealous. You like him, right? You refuse to date him. And yet, you won't let him have an order. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm shocked you're saying that because if you know me too well, you will know I don't mix business with pleasure. And who says he's mixing business with pleasure? Then what is it? We have a target audience. And those guests are good for the show. Please, call him back and apologize. I'm sorry, I won't do that. <sighs> Crystal, apart from the fact that you are my boss, we are distant relatives, and I am older than you. Just take it that is an advice from an auntie, and I won't deceive you. I am not revoking that contract, and that's final. Okay, have it your way then. Thank you. Hold on. Bad actually. <laughs> Why bad? What happened? Ah, I had a stressful day. This guy I normally give contract to, Frederick. Imagine him bringing his girlfriends to run my show. Frederick? Yeah. <laughs> Who is Frederick? I, I don't know. A colleague, sort of. It, I've heard that name before. I must have mentioned him to you. <gasps> I remember. You once mentioned him in your sleep. Liar. Bra, bra, the liar. I am Look at her face. No, bra. Like we, we don't even sleep in the same room. Well, you slept the YC in a movie last week and you kept murmuring his name. What's up with him? Are you guys dating? God Stop forbid. Up? Like I'll never allow a guy come close to me again. Mm. So why are you angry he brought his girlfriend to your show? I mean, you should be interested in how the show went. But well, you know I don't mix business with pleasure. Mm. I don't. But I don't kill yourself with jealousy. This guy, I'm sure he's very good at what he does. That's why you gave him the contract. So don't let jealousy get in the way. But you guys, I don't know. Why is everyone saying the same thing? Because you have just refused to understand me. Well, you know me now. Mm. <laughs> You're always wrong. And you know it. And I'm not scared to tell you the truth. Christo is never wrong. She's always right. My instinct. <laughs> it's few weeks to the show and we're yet to train models who will showcase our design. And how is that my business? Are you just supposed to handle that? The last time I checked, you said you will handle it. Please, swallow your pride and call Frederick. He will handle this. He delivers very well. And how many times will I tell you that his contract with this company has been terminated? You are taking this too far. You didn't even deem it fit to pay him all he spent on this project. What if he takes you to court? If he wants to take me to court then, all well and good. You know he wouldn't. Mm. He likes you. Oh really? Why are you like this? Why do you use people? It is not good. I use people and you're still working for me. Like, I don't understand. And how is that your business? It is my business. If I don't tell you the truth, who will? You are just being bitter. And you're beginning to drive everyone away from you. You dare call me bitter? You're fired.
something bothering you? I just don't know why everyone is trying so hard to piss me off. I think it's the other way around. Anyway, what's the problem? Precious. She, she got on my nerves this morning and I fired her. You what? You fired Auntie Precious? Are you out of your mind? She's family. I know, but she, she, she keeps poking her nose in my affairs. I cannot believe you, Christabel. How could you? And Auntie Precious that was there for you when you, when you tried committing suicide countless times. That was in the past. Why are you reminding me of that? What are you made of? You're wicked. You're heartless. What am I even doing in your house? God! I'm leaving first thing in the morning. Bra, bra, come on. It hasn't gotten to that. Bra, bra, come on! Why is everyone trying so hard to piss me off? I probably went overboard this time around. I'll call her and apologize. What well, is Crystal? Crystal is never wrong. She's always right. So, okay, I think I know what to do. I'll probably just go out and have a drink. No, we're good. Everyone is trying to piss me off now. the floor on the grass for that matter what why do I have blood stain all over my body what's going on am I am I dead where am I Stabbed me right. Someone stabbed me right there. Hello. Hello. Can Can anybody hear me? Hi. Someone just stabbed me here. without writing my wrongs. Oh God, please don't tell me I died without writing my wrongs. Can anybody hear me? Help! God, God please give me a second chance. chance. Help! Yeah? Yes! Who is it? Miss your road? I need your help. Me? You need my help? Oh. The almighty crystal needs my help. Small me. Please, go. Please, I need your there help. There you go, just go. go. Oh. When 
days will never end. Oh. <laughs> what? I wish I recorded this. Reacting. I just hope I, I'm not messing things up for myself. What if I stay here? I'm losing my mind. No, I'm not leaving. I can't leave. I've been trying to tell you. She's not on seats yet. Oh, well, that's impossible. Krista doesn't play with her work, okay? She's a workaholic and she's never late. That's the point. I don't know what is going on with her. I've tried reaching her to no avail. She's not picking up your calls? Her phone is saying switched off. And she has a very important meeting this morning. Well, that's typical of her. She doesn't regard anybody and she thinks she's better than everybody. Anyway, I think she's up to some kind of mischief, okay? And I'm out of here. Huh? Uh, okay, I'll let her know you checked on her. Once no, she comes no, don't in. worry. Just tell her I don't have time for her stupid games. Period. Oh, I came to say Crystal Shane. And who are you? Frederick. A friend, a colleague. Oh, Frederick. Frederick that gives my sister sleep at night. What? No wonder she's head over heels. What are you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. She's not in. She left very early in the morning to work. I didn't even get to see her. No, she's not at work. Okay, her peer confirmed she didn't even show up at work today. Really? Yes. And that's unlike her. Where, where could she be? I don't know. Maybe you should call her because she's not picking up my calls. Neither is she picking up the PA's call. Mm -hmm. Maybe she'll talk to you. You okay? You had me very sick about you. I need your help. What exactly do you need my help for? Huh? You miss fix it all, Abby? You know it all. Why come to me? I need your help with Whatever. What do you need my help for? Don't even bother, okay? I don't want to know what you need my help for. Because I'm not gonna allow you to use and dunk me once more. Get out of my house. Patrick? You're fine, Abby? Everything is fine and everything's good. Now leave. See, I was just worried that you were fine. Out of my house. Frederick, please, I just need your help. This time around, Frederick, please. Frederick, Don't please, come, back. Please, Frederick, do come back. please, do not come back. Just just go. Ah.
is there? Come in. Come in, the door is open. Good evening, ma'am. Hello. Good evening. I'm here to see Crystal. Crystal? Yeah. She's not at the office? No. She's not at the office, and I've been trying to reach her to no avail. I, I don't understand. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find that. Well, I assume she had left for the office already. Just hold on a second. switched off. My madam has never mixed to work unless she's terribly ill. I'm confused. She was really acting strange last night. I even tried to talk to her but she shut me out. I don't know, maybe something is bothering her. She decided to take a break. My madam always informed me whenever she's not going to be around. But today of all days, she had a very important meeting and she missed it. I really don't know what is bothering Krista. Really worried. Okay, you know what? I will definitely talk to her when she gets back. And I'll also tell her you stop by. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure she will come around. I'm sure. Okay. Thank Anyway, you. I'll keep calling. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Hello? Sir, this is Flora from Crystal Fashion. Flora, how are you? I'm afraid not so fine, sir. What? The show is around the corner and my mother haven't resumed work. When was the last time you saw her? I've been to her place countless times and she's still not there. I'm afraid my mother might be missing. No, no, she's not missing, okay? I think she's just in a deep mess. Sorry, sir. How do you mean? I mean, um, I mean, you know how mischievous she can be, right? But don't worry. I'll talk to some of our mature friends to see if they know where she is. Okay, sir. Please keep me posted. All right. What have you done now? Well, how could she be hiding? When was the last time you saw her? A day before the day she went missing. And she hasn't resumed work since the day you came looking for her in the office. Neither has she gone home. So you mean you haven't seen her since then? Yes. Even her stepsister Barbara haven't seen her either. That's weird. Wait, wait. Does she have any issues with anyone? Apart from few of our workers that she fired for unreasonable things. I don't think she has any problem with anybody, but I'm sorry, why do you ask? Because I don't understand why she's only went into hiding. Hiding? Except of course, maybe she stepped on the wrong toes, knowing cursed her. My madam I know is fearless, so why would she go into hiding? Well, because... We... She, she's gonna come back. I mean, I know she doesn't play with her business, all right? I have to be on my way. I pray so. Let me know if you hear anything, okay? Mischievous? Okay. What was all this?
Excuse me, sir. Okay. I lost my baton, okay? Please sit. So, where's Crystal? I still haven't seen my sister. I've reported the case to the police. They're searching everywhere for her. Wait, when was the last time you saw her? The night before you came here looking for her. No, that's impossible. I saw her later that day. She was at my house that night. No, that's not possible. I mean... Why would she come to your house instead of coming to her house or calling me a sister or a PA? Well, that's because you probably don't even know your sister. She's so mischievous. Wait, is Crystal running from somebody or something? Wait, she's in some kind of trouble? Frederick, please, if you see her anywhere, can you please let me know? Can I kindly have your number? Yeah. Okay. Just go ahead. Okay, you could call my phone and I'll just save you. Oh, words. okay. Yeah, I'm calling you. That's my number. All right. I, I have to go. Yeah. Sorry I chased you out the other day. I was just still very angry at you. Can I get you something to drink? No, I just need your help. Well, this is the first time you're in my house. I need to give you something to drink. I'm and fine. Yeah, I'll be right um, back. Get water or something, okay? Um, I'll, I'll be right back. Exactly. Do you need my help for? I need you to find those who murdered me. Huh? <laughs> you're sitting here and you're talking about murder. The very day I left your house was the day I was murdered. <laughs> Have you been smoking? Joy Bad Gang. Frederick. Frederick, I, I saw my spirit leaving my body. I was practically asking everybody for help, but nobody could see or hear me. Frederick, I'm shocked you can see me. Utiyawiri. You know what? You need to go home. Your home needs you. Frederick, just listen to me. Listen to me. Frederick, please don't open the door. Just listen. Where's 
Where is she? There's no one here. She was just sitting right here. There's nobody there, Frederick. It's obvious my sister disappeared. It's taking a toll on you. Nobody's here. You guys sure had a great connection, even though you never dated. I understand. My sister's ego still hurts about the past. What past? Uh, never mind. I have to leave now. Yeah. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Come, go. go. I'll call you if anything. Yeah, please, call, call me. Did you see her body? No, madam. Madam, you don't have to worry yourself over nothing. Like I said before, why that animal would have finished her body by now? And I hope so. I, I rushed to the house of the guy that said he saw her. And when I got there, there was no one there. And then he had this confusing and, and shocking look when I couldn't see her. I, I just hope that guy is not playing pranks on me. Did you say prank? But why would they do a thing like that? I don't know. I don't know. I... Look, I'm confused and shocked at the same time. Do you think it's a ghost that came visiting him? <laughs> <laughs> Madam, it's no ghost. Trust me. I killed her myself. Maybe he's just hallucinating. Well, I, I really hope he's hallucinating. Look, I, I have to leave now, okay? Okay. Yes. I don't know you. I've never met you before. Do you? I have never seen you before. Keep that in mind. You can count on me, madam. Stop this shit that you're doing. It's not even funny anymore. You're looking for me? It's fine. Christian, what have I done? Nothing. Christian, you, 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 you wanted me why, why you are alive. Not, not you. I just need your help. You're, You're friends with my enemy. You want more? No. Where are you going to? I'm not going anywhere. I... Stay there. I, I should go. Do I go? Stay where you are. Or you can come. No, no, let me stay. Let me stay. That's fine. Go to the family hospital. Ask about the girl that was brought and stabbed. Confirm if what I'm saying is the truth or not. No, I pee. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Pee on myself. I'm sorry. You're fine. Are you sure you, you'll be here or, or you go to, to your house? Yes, come in. Hi. Hi, you're welcome. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. I'm sorry, I'm Frederick. I um I am. Do you have a seat first? Thank you. 
I'm looking for um, a young woman called Crystal. I heard she was stabbed and admitted here. Oh, okay. Oh, the young lady that was brought here almost dead. Oh, wow. Is she alive? Yeah, she's still alive, but uh, she's still unconscious. And she has not been responding to treatment at all. Well, um, will, she, will she survive it? Mm, yeah, her chance of surviving is uh, just slim because uh, she lost a lot of blood. Uh, but um, we are trying to put it to under control. Thanks for some good people that brought her in time. So. Can, can, I, can I see her, please? Sure. I think she has started responding to treatment. Please leave us now so that let me take care of her, please. She touched. Wait at this question, please. She's asleep right now. I think we have to go home and come back tomorrow. She needs some rest. The doctor, I kept seeing her in my place. Asking me to help her and telling me that she was murdered. Is that possible? I don't know. I, I thought I was going insane or something. Well, that's strange. It's very strange. That's very strange. Anyway, you still have to go home. Just see when she wakes up from the sleep. Let's see. Yeah, but, but I can wait. I mean, it's raining right now. Like, I can wait with her. No, 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 no. Just wait here. It's better you wait over here. Please. Life, we all face one challenge or another. We must try, we must try to get through with it one way or another. So how much did you pay to the account? Alright. Transfer 5 million naira to my account. And also send... What do you mean by that? It's my sister's account. And she's nowhere to be found. So I am the right owner right now. And you don't have any right to question me. What kind of stupid idiot is this one? I know the hell is she to even question me. So much but who cares if the company is told? I'm going to collect, withdraw, collect, collect until the company goes bankrupt. Don't let mistakes of yesterday affect you today. You can bring your sorrow. Who's there? Come in, the door is open. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well. You? You're welcome. <gasps> ghost! 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 She, 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 she's a ghost! She's a ghost! Ghost! What do you mean, ghost? I killed you! She, she's a ghost! I, 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 I pray for them to kill you! You, you, you you're a ghost! You, you, please help me! Please help me! I beg you! She's a ghost! She wants to kill me! She wants to kill me! She wants to kill me! What did I ever do to you, brother? You are heartless. And you deserve everything but even death! Have you forgotten five years ago? Please, please. Please, I beg in the name of God, please don't. Mama, no, Mama, she's dying. She needs help. 
Barbara, I'm dying to. I'm hurt. Krista, the fact that that loser of a boyfriend of yours left you doesn't mean she abandoned your family. Mama needs you. The, 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 the doctor said they need deposit before they can commence any treatment on her. Mama needs to carry out a surgery. Please, please, I beg you. I don't have it. I don't have it. Krista, Mama took care of you even more than her own blood. You can't turn your back on her. Nothing will happen to Mama. Okay? Krista, please. Please, I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Please help my mother, please. Why are you doing this? I don't have it. I don't. Please, I beg you. Don't do this. I beg in the name of God. Please help Mama. Please, please, I beg you. my mother. I will not. <laughs> Mama, why did you leave me? You are wicked. You are wicked, Christian. You left my mother to die. You abandoned her when she needed you the most. She left you. She loved you like her own daughter. She never treated you like a stepdaughter. You left her. That day I swore to make sure you pay for everything you cursed me, even if it's the last thing I do. I... I am so sorry. Brother Luke, I've always blamed myself for your mom's death. It is true you've been hurt and broken So you harden your heart You don't want all words to open You keep pushing away Everyone around you Inflicting pain and hurt In people's lives This can't be. No. No. Why is it? Why is this phone switched off? God, why? Be switched off, of course not. God, why is this phone switched off? Luna, no! This can't be, no! <laughs> Look, brother, I know you're hurt. But I loved him. I... I really loved him. But he took my love for granted. My care. And my kindness for weakness. Look, Barbara, I, I lost everything. Including the wealth our father left for me. I lost my wealth, my happiness, and myself. That period was a bad time for me, and when I heard of your mom's sickness, I'm so sorry I neglected her that period. I, I am so sorry because 
That period was a sad moment for me. And when I heard about her death, I blamed myself for her death. Brother Luke, please forgive me. I almost took my life that period. I swore never ever to love again. I swore to be heartless, but I have never stopped loving you. Oh, you took away my mother. And I'm sorry. I planned your death. I paid somebody to kill you. Shut up! I have money, I'll give you whatever, Quiet. whatever amount you want, please. I'm sorry. I have to deliver this assignment. Okay, please. I have money, I'll give you whatever you want, Go please. Down I mean. down. I told them to, to, to arrange it, to make it look like it was it was a robbery case and nobody would suspect me. And I came back home to Mary. Oh, and I pretended I didn't know about your whereabouts. I never knew you hated me this much. I, I did everything for you to forgive me. I, I even cared for you more than I cared for myself. You did all you did to compensate me. But that can never bring my mother back. You took my mother away from me. And you will pay. You will pay for every pain I caused. You will pay for losing my mother. You remember her auntie, Auntie Precious? Auntie Precious stopped you from committing suicide countless times. But what did you do to her? You fired her just like that. I was stupid. I now ask for forgiveness. Papa, you went too far. This woman was broken. Totally broken. You have no idea the pain of losing a mother. She made me lose my mother. And I will never forgive her. Well, I'm sorry about that, okay? But you have to understand she wasn't herself at that moment. I don't want to understand. Because you don't understand the pain I went through. Now well, guess what? Even you will pay for your crimes. I hate you so much. I hate you. I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Please let it go. Let it go. Let go. Let better let Thank you so, so much for everything. I mean, despite all I did to you, you still came to my rescue. Well, that's because I let go. It's the past. I don't allow my past to define my present. You need to learn to do the same thing. Let go. Look at that smile. <laughs> God gave me a second chance. And henceforth, um, I'm letting go all the bitterness of the past. Forgive all those who have wronged me and I learn not to be a bitter soul. You know something? I always knew you were wearing a mask. I always knew that behind all that bitterness there was a sweet, caring, humble lady. Thank you. I'm grateful. I love you. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> I love you. I, I love you for real, and I, I'm thankful to God for allowing me to be the man to help you. I love you too. I always knew you loved me. Come here. Mmm, mmm, I knew you were feeling it. I knew you always had something for me. Stop it! <laughs> 
I think we should take a vacation. Take you to the Bahamas. 